Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Amorogbe. A very good morning to you. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Let's take you on another trip across the money spinning world of sports. And where uh, do we start from this morning? Let's start from home. Talk about the upcoming Nigeria Professional Football League season. It's no longer news that uh, Ravel Everton is now the Abia Warriors coach. But now it gets a top three target. Uh, that's the target and it's set for the mission in the Nigeria uh, Professional Football League. We wish him all the best uh, as he begins uh, the job. Okay, we move on now and uh, we leave the field to go to the ring. American boxer Deontay Wilder says uh, if he loses his next bout against Berman Steven, he will retire. It's either he wins or he retires. He, he, he doesn't see himself losing. Let me just put it that way um, this morning. So we'll see what happens in that one, uh, the next big bout in the world of boxing. Oh, he moves to MMA, right? Okay, from boxing right now, move straight to the court. Talking about tennis, Karina Pliskova, she's through to the semifinals of the WTA World Tour uh, Championships right there in Singapore. So for her, at last group game will just be more like a dead robber. But then Venus Williams, she's still in there. And of course, you also have Gabi Muguruza. They're still trying to see if they can get on to the semifinals. Both of them will be meeting in the last group game. But that's where we'll get started with. Let's yeah, go that's up. Muguruza, we didn't see that coming at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first, first, I must say, Venus was able to roll back the years. Uh, I'm impressed with that. But please cover. Um, I'm impressed. Got the job done. I mean, she, she's not um, deciding on anybody. Yeah. She's, she's got the job done and she progresses to the next round, irrespective of what happens anywhere. And, and that's the best place, yeah. best place to be. Uh, we, we know, you know, we said yesterday that whoever wins in, in that yeah. game between her and uh, Muguruza, you know, is guaranteed that yeah. th that, the, that person is moving uh, to the next round and the other person on the virtue of having a win before yeah, right. would have to wait and that's what has happened uh, to uh, Muguruza now but uh, please cover uh, you know where she needs to be is where she is right now yeah it, it's so surprising that it happened in 62 minutes the game before that they had to wait for a very long time for the Venus Williams uh, mm -hmm. game to finish but then you, you know having waited so long she just couldn't wait to finish off this one but if you check uh, Muguruza I, I felt she was actually there you know, she was in that poor position, you know, to get something good out of this. But the game just ending in 62 minutes, that's a minute, than an, uh, two minutes more than an hour, tells you how, uh, how good Pliskova was on the night. She was impressive in the straight sets win uh, over uh, uh, Venus Williams. Then coming into this, I mean, she just had to, you know, break twice, racing through the first set in 26 minutes. And Muguruza struggled on that. I mean, she struggled trailing 6-2 in head-to-head -head, uh, meetings ahead of the match. We understand that. But then I felt, okay, she was going to have some resistance and Pliskova might just be the one who may not get something right out of it. But somehow Pliskova, she was just too good on the night and she just had to wrap it up in 62 minutes. Yeah, um, uh, she got the job done. A fantastic win uh, for uh, please cover uh, a little mix up on our own part right there. Game ended 6 2. Uh, 6 2. Uh, she, got a job, she got a job done uh, there. And uh, like Cecilia told you, in 62 minutes, and she has her feet firmly planted in uh, the semi finals. So we'll see where she goes uh, from that. Now, She's first, <laughs> first uh, game, like you said, she defeated Venus. And that, that put her in a very comfortable uh, position. So she finished top of the white group right now, the way it's looking. And of course, going to the next one, talking about uh, Venus Williams, that's where you have that uh, score that you saw earlier, the results of what you saw earlier. Where Williams had to like put on something really special because when you have to be on court for almost three hours yeah. against another very, very strong player, Ostapenko, she lost to Gabi Muguruza and she knew this one she had to fight to see if she can, you know, get a point out of it but somehow Venus Williams on her day had to produce a kind of a vintage display that's what you call it God determination everything you can think of she had to put up the experience she had and everything to ensure that she's able to beat Ostapenko 7-5 6-7 when she lost the second set 6-7 I felt okay uh, maybe that's just the end for it but somehow in the final set when it took tie breaks and she just had to 
just draw from reserve that she had and she was able to yeah. you know move over this one and get something really good yeah. 37 i mean Brizzy encounter 20 breaks of serve i mean you just look at venus williams you ask yourself 37 exactly i mean where did she get the energy from because i used to think when you push her more than two hours and she's still on court she may not have the energy to finish but this time around she just had to draw from that reserve and she got something she was really spectacular to win. from it. Too, too bad for please cover, end of the road. Uh, I mean, sorry, for uh, Ostapenko. <laughs> Ostapenko uh, yeah. a, a end of the road for her. She would probably just be playing for pride. Of course. That, that's the only... And of course, she's playing, uh, she, happily, she's playing against please cover, so... Who has won? Who really has <laughs> nothing has to, to, to play for? Uh, but the, the, the other one that's going to be the decider, Muguruza, Muguruza and, and Venus, Venus. So and that's going to be a, a very key... The winner will uh, have to uh, join please cover in the semis. In, in the semis, so we'll see. Uh, I mean, good place to be for Pliskova. She uh, got the job done, and uh, we'll see what happens in that one. Uh, let's leave the ladies and, you talk know, about the, uh, talk about the guys. For today. Yeah, okay, for fixtures for today. To the guys. Yeah, fixtures for today from the red group. They will be in action later today. You have Simona Halep and, of course, Carl Carolina, uh, Caroline Wozniacki. Both of them will be in action. They have Elena Simitolina and Caroline Garcia. The Battle of Caroline, but then they're not playing. But you have Simona Halep. And same Kalen same situation like yesterday. The, the, the guys who, yeah. the ladies who won, yep. and the ones that lost. Mm -hmm. For the ones who won, a win today, semi final. For the ones who've lost before, another loss today, bye bye. So we, we, we'll see what happens. Uh, Simona <laughs> Alep really looking good, I, yeah. I must say. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, with a, you know, a tough customer in uh, Caroline Wozniacki. <laughs> uh, we'll see that one. And who wants to more? On, I don't bank in, on any of the players. Mm -hmm. So these are the players that have disappointed me over and over again. So. Anyone can just take it. Okay. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, we don't have to wait uh, for too long. This, this evening, yeah. late in the evening, you know, the matches will be concluded. Then you can know who's in the semifinal, who has to wait for uh, one, one more game. game. Okay. All right. Let's go to the guys uh, now. Can Stop we go from, to the guys? Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's go Swiss to... Swiss Indos. We have... Uh, okay. Roger Federer returning and he had a very fantastic Swiss one. Swiss Maestro is Swiss Indos. <laughs> Swiss Indos. <laughs> Against the Francis tier for a 6 1 6 3, that was it. But then, talk about Dominic Thiem. I mean, he's been, he hasn't really, would I say?